Hey everybody, this is Bethany and I am reviewing the ETTG Android TV box. This is the V8 Plus. Um, on the back you have all of your component hookups. So you have your power cord, which it includes. You have a, a coaxial cord, port, uh, AV. You have your LAN um, for Ethernet if you want to hook it up. Um, hardwire, you have a HDMI cable, you have two USB ports, which I have a um, keyboard remote plugged in right now, so um, that's what's plugged in there, but you do have two, so you could plug in other devices, um, and you have an SD slot card if you want to use uh, media off of an SD card. Um, so once you get it plugged in, this is the main screen you're going to come up to. You're going to want to get your settings set up. So you'll go to settings and click on your network and set up your wireless if you're doing wireless. If you're hardwiring it, then you'll have your Ethernet. Um, you have YouTube on here, uh, your camera, uh, pictures, applications. But most people get these uh, for Cody, which is a pretty cool little uh, app that allows you to stream just about anything. Okay, so when you, I was playing with this earlier, so when you first get to Cody, this is what it's going to look like. Um, you're going to want to go to, if you're wanting to watch movies and TV shows, you'll go to videos. Um, they have a few down here on the favorites, but just... I suggest uh, Genesis if you are just starting out. It is pretty, it has a lot of different TV shows and a lot of different movies. It's pretty versatile. But as you can see, you have other things that are pretty, um, you know, generic, or not generic, but um, specific. So. You have things like, you know, the Disney app, which my kids like, um, that have all the Disney shows on it, um, and different things. So, uh, Food Network. But Genesis is pretty versatile and widespread. Um, you can go to movies, you can go to TV shows, you can choose channels, uh, whatever. Um, and I was just going to kind of show you how easy it is to stream. This is really user-friendly. I'm not a real big techie type person. Um, so this is pretty easy to use, um, but you can just kind of pick your channel. Um, as you can see, they pretty much have every channel here. Oh, by the way, this is the remote that it comes with. Like I said, I had a keyboard remote that I was using with it, mainly because, um, and I don't know if anybody else is going to have this problem or not, but when we first got it, it had a box up at the top that said something about scrolling down. Um, to go out of full screen and we could not get it to go away with this remote. Uh, so we hooked up a keyboard so that we could use the little touch screen um, so that we could get to where we needed to go because you can use this with a computer too. So, um, so we were finally able to get that message to go away by using a keyboard remote and clicking on the OK button. Um, so anyway, you can pick your network. Uh, say you want to watch you know, the latest episode of Grey's Anatomy. I think that show's still on. You can pick what season you want to go to. Maybe you want to watch all of them. Um, but, you know, go to the season 12. And it'll have a list of them. And then you can pick the most recent one. It'll come up and load. And then eventually it'll tell you all the places that you can stream it from. And then it's just a matter of picking the one that you want. We always do the medium quality because for some reason our TV, we can't get high quality to work usually. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just our broadband. So I usually scroll down here and find a medium quality one, which is usually still nice quality um, on our TV. And then you'll just pick one and it'll download and start playing. Uh, so it's really nice, um, really easy to use, user friendly on these TV boxes, and easy to use. Like I said, I am not a techie person at all, and I can do it. So if I can do it, most people can, I'm sure. You can also listen to music. You can uh, play, um, 
you know, your, your, um, pictures and recordings and things. Like I said, there's an SD slot, a USB port. Uh, so you could do a slideshow or pictures, music, whatever. So as you can see, that's starting to come up here now. Um, and it'll start playing here. It should. Anyway, I'm not sure what it's doing. Usually it just comes up and starts playing, but, um, anyway, you can play around with it and find all kinds of stuff. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, when you want to go back to the home screen, you can just hit home. Um, on Cody, like I said, there's a ton of different apps. You can even go online on the internet on this because it's an Android. Uh, go on the Google Store and download apps. You can get Netflix and Vudu and all of that stuff um, and download it straight onto the device, just like a computer. Um, and watch all of your devices right through your TV. So it's really easy. They include all the cables, the power cable, HDMI cable, all that stuff is included. Um, and it's really a nice set. You can check out the full review and more information in the comments.